is Our Healthy Homes. OurHealthyHomes.com is the website to go to. 651-775-9194 is a phone number to give a ring a ling a ling to the lovely and talented Sheila, and she'd be happy to get you pointed in the right direction and get you on the path to your health and wellness. The four pillars of a healthy home, that's what we talk mm-hmm. about here, the structure of the house, the ecosystem inside your body and your mind and your spirit. Today we're talking about the body. And, uh, you know, it's been a cold winter, Sheila. <laughs> yes, it has. It's been a cold, hard, Snowy. long winter. Yes. And so when I think of summer, the first thing that kind of pops into my mind yes. is cryotherapy. I'm sure it does. It right. is. <laughs> and so we are so lucky. We've got uh, Chris Gourley in the studio with Nitro G uh, Cryo Recovery. Yes. And uh, so for our listeners, now we're talking about body now, physical right. body. Right. Although I bet there's some emotional side that comes too when you jump into a plunging cold uh, ice yeah. bath. Yeah, right, exactly. T- tell us what cryo recovery is, first of all. What is it? Okay. Hi. Glad to be here. Thank you. Cryo recovery is getting your body cold. Mm-hmm. It's nitrogen based, our cryo. They do have some electric, but we have nitrogen based cryo. Okay. It's skin temperature is what it b- is based on. All right. So your body gets cold, uh-huh. just skin temperature deep. So your mind sends, at least in the big tube, okay. sends everything like to your heart, to your core. Okay. Because it's thinking it's, Freezing I hate to, to say going into hypothermia, right. but right. Right. You, you, you're getting cold. So it's trying to protect itself. Okay. So then when you step out of the machine, everything goes to its extremities mm-hmm. and then it like the blood will move for hours. I mean, it, it can be two hours six hours everybody's body is different so the basis of it is it's even though it's cold it's helping you with pain inflammation circulation flexibility when the blood moves you pick up oxygen and you pick up nutrients and that's kind of where the healing comes in for cryotherapy it was invented in 1973 for rheumatoid arthritis oh and again, it's it's just that basis of you're moving your blood. Everything's moving in your body. So you get stiff and sore and you get that blood moving. You start to become, you know. Jelly-like. More flexible, <laughs> more more circulation. So when you have, uh, Sheila complains that her joints are stiff. Yes. Yeah, and I, I told not. her that she's rolling them too tight. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So it's his yeah. new favorite one lately. I know it is. So you're talking about. Arth- arthritis, you said? Or, it was or? invented for rheumatoid arthritis. So who yes. thought that up? I mean, it who was, would you know, think it, that, let's get cold and I'm going to, my I'm stiff. Normally when in the wintertime, people complain that they're cold and stiff. So how do you fix that? Let's get colder. Oh, okay, so I, I kind of get it because remember when I tore the tissue in my in my disc, I tore the tissue. Not, I didn't have a bulging disc, but I tore the tissue. And I mean... Through physical therapy, I had that ice bag. Mm-hmm. How many times a day did I have to put that ice bag on my on my back, right? Um, and so it makes sense with the ice to take care of, you know, cooling the body, the temperature, you know, inflammation, that kind of thing. Now, had I known about, that's a tank, right? You, it, like, go in a tank? It is. And it's different than ice because, like, people that take ice baths, and people that put ice on a, in, I'll say an injury, yeah. mm-hmm. ice goes deeper. So it actually, if someone calls and says, my son hit his knee on the ice, like uh, hockey. Yeah. Right. Um, if it just happened, we usually say 12 to 24 hours, you need to put ice on it. You don't want it to like balloon up. Right. You want to stop the blood from moving. Cryotherapy, because it's only skin temperature deep. And what is this? How far? You know, because like I get it that this is my skin and then my next, next layer is my fascia or my lymphatic system, you know, and the muscles are like down deeper. Like what? Like how far in? You okay. know, I'm not a, I'm okay. not a doctor, okay. but I, okay. I just I know when you when you when you use the ice, it, it stops the blood from flowing. It just gets it that particular spot with ice penetrates gets cold when the the cryotherapy and the nitrogen is circulating your body it's basically just wanting to warm itself up like you're standing so so how we're not talking about wet now no it's not wet okay so i'm thinking like you oh you're thinking about going going into a water tank ice ice baths and all that kind of stuff no people that a lot of people use ice baths they you you need to go like 20 minutes into an ice bath what you can get for three minutes in a cryo as far as the you know benefits the benefits okay the difference i 
with the cryotherapy is truly it's getting that blood moving. So when you put an ice pack on your back, it's going to help with the pain and inflammation, but it's not activating like oxygen and nutrients and getting your blood flowing. It's it's stopping that. So when people come in and they have fibromyalgia in their knee mm-hmm. and they're in pain because they haven't you know maybe did, done enough treatments, I we will tell them now that you got your blood moving because even the localized spot treatment like tendonitis, sprained ankles, fibromyalgia in the knee, whatever it may be, when you do that for up to seven minutes, it's the spot is moving. So your brain is having just that area that you're, you're, you know, treating. So we'll tell people, don't go home now and put an ice pack on immediately because you're right. going to stop the blood from moving okay. and you're defeating the purpose. Okay. The healing comes in with nitro, nitro <laughs> cryotherapy yep. with the blood movement, All the right. blood movement. So what's a typical session? How long? For whole body, people go from t- basically two minutes to three minutes. We Am I going to get cold? You you do get cold. The nitrogen and it's a it's a <laughs> nitrogen cold. It sounds very far fetched. It'll get to like negative two hundred and forty. The nitrogen. So you see that and you're thinking, oh my god, oh gosh. my god, I'm right. gonna be an ice cube. Right, right. But when you go in it, we can't tell what your temperature is when you're in the tube. But I, we talk to people the whole uh-huh. time they're in there. You want to get somewhere we measure the back of your knee, your skin around 50 degrees, 50 in, in the 50s. That's all you need to get. When you go into the tube, if we take a temperature thing, your the back of your knee is maybe like 85, 90 degrees. It just needs to drop that amount for your brain to start thinking, I've got to warm this person up. Mm-hmm. We let people go like 30s to 50s. We've got some people that they'll come out the first time, two minutes and 30 seconds, they'll be 45 degrees. That's like, perfect perfect number you're kind of in the middle but we have people that'll come out they'll be 55 and they're like i'm done i just want to get what i need and then i want to get out so do you is it do you come out for 15 minutes and go back in is an oscillating deal back in and out one time in and out. one time in and out and we we have people that come in once a week just to help keep their inflammation down they want it helps with their immunity you know i can only speak for myself we've had this now for almost four years I used to get colds and flus and achy body all winter. My my in-laws are like, you haven't been sick for years. I have not been sick for years. I don't know if it's just going in once a week, uh, flush, you know, flushing mm-hmm. it out, getting the, the oxygen, the nutrients, the stuff. It's just, you're kind of just keeping your body, I guess, more healthy. We have people we only see when they have an injury. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have people that have a monthly pass, want to come in every day, either for room Every day. Or, Every there's we have a couple that come in every day. They don't they're not even like they don't even have rheumatoid arthritis or arthritis. They just how old are they? Like it. I this I maybe fifties for one, forties for another. Okay. Oh. We we get some people that will start you know the January. Oh yeah yeah uh, sure. about, right. So they'll come in. They'll buy a monthly pass just to kind of get their metabolism going. Boost. Does it do that? Yes, it's kind of like exercising because your heart you know everything is here and then it flushes back out and then your body's working to warm itself up. So when you warm yourself up, you're burning calories. I, n- I never tell people, oh, you're going to come and lose one pound. Yeah, yeah, pounds yeah, yeah. I usually explain it more of a metabolism booster mm-hmm. because you're, you know, you come out, you're energized. Are you and energized? I mean, can you you're physically feel it? Yes. And how long does that last? I mean, how every, long is that feeling until you get home? Or You know what? Again, everybody, everybody's different. And, mm-hmm. I, and I, I don't mean to sound like wishy-washy, but that's why they, when we were, trained in they'll say you know your blood will move for two hours to six hours we you know we have ultra marathon runners that come in they'll come in the whole week before they run to Mm. get all that inflammation down they don't worry about losing a calorie right because their metabolism is like this already cooking you know they'll warm up we have people that come in and they can you know they're very sedentary they're hardly moving and they want to have a metabolism booster they probably do lose some weight because they're that's kind of their exercise for them you know, the, the blood is just going. So you said that there's, this is the, the, um, nitro or what is it? Nitrogen. Nitrogen. It's nitrogen. And then there's, then there is a water one. Not, not she with said you. electric. No. Oh, electric. Electric. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, really. Good, good shock. I, I, that, that one kind of scares me. No, no, no. They have, they have cryo machines. Well, I don't even know if you call them. Well, they are cryotherapy, but they're, it's like cold air. Okay. This is nitrogen. Oh, okay. So it's a difference. Nitrogen actually is colder. Some people can't do the electric because they can't get cold enough. Okay. 
Oh. Okay, when we come back, oh. I want to find out if you go into this thing when you're naked or dressed. <laughs> we'll answer that question when you come back from okay. break. This is Our Healthy Homes. OurHealthyHomes.com. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. This is Our Healthy Homes, OurHealthyHomes.com. We're here in the studio with uh, Chris Gourley, and we're speaking about cryotherapy. And I was curious, when you go into this machine, this tube, this device, uh, you're totally encapsulated and top. No, not no? for this head one. sticking out or the, what? The head is sticking out with the nitrogen. Okay. Yeah. Head is sticking out. Clothes on, clothes off. Women do not have to wear anything. Okay, super duper. You got cameras in there because I can no, have closed no, circuit TV going on or anything do like that. Do not. Okay. Uh, mm. And then and men have to wear boxers, briefs, okay. compressions. Okay. Yeah, and women do both. I mean, they they'll come in with boxers, briefs, or I think uh, they clothes. They can clothes. They can wear. Clo- or well, that better. would stop it from working. Well, that's right. you're right. That's you, what I would think. Women will wear undergarments or like compressions, you know, something like that. Okay, a sports bra, Spandex not or something. Like I said boxers or briefs. Yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, so when you go in, I usually we usually put people in for let's say for two minutes and thirty seconds to start with. Okay. It's the uh, longest two minutes well, and thirty well, seconds well, of your yeah. time. Surprisingly, <laughs> there are some people that they can't, they just can't wait to go in, and other people it's well, are like hate love. They hate it when they're in there, but they love it once they get out. The first time is always the hardest. Uh, Jake, my kids used to run track, and someone turned them on to a nitrogen cryotherapy place that was in Minneapolis. I think it was the first one years ago. They're now mm-hmm. in their 20s, and this was like when they were 14. Okay. And uh, they said, you should do it one for the minute you run to get to go in there so the inflammation doesn't build in your body. And two, you can do it right before a sport because your blood moves. All right. So they started it. Ten years go by. I never went, never took them. Then when they could drive, they went themselves. Um, and then my kids worked out in this gym, which were, were located in MASH, uh, it's performance and baseball, Silver Bell Road, diagonal from the Egan Outlet Mall, and they opened two offices in there. And so there's a chiropractor, and they asked Jake, you know, do you want to put a cryo in here? Came home, talked to my husband, you know, oh, sure. And I didn't yeah. even know. I go, these people just don't want to do an ice bath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know at that point that it was more about the blood movement mm-hmm. and all that. Mm-hmm. Um and so that's that's kind of how this started. But they went up there, and that's when I started doing it, and we st- I started helping. And then people were coming in, and it was just I was like, okay, there there really is something to this. It's, is it different ages that you see, or is it all ages, all or is there over. a focus on some particular age, or it's it's all over the place. We'll have the athletes that will come, like swimmers, will um, will come right before they have a swim meet. Mm-hmm. They've in fact, one girl said, it's like my a warm-up before my warm-up. One person came in, started dropping time at the end of, like, a swim season, and then it the kind of the word spread, and then pretty soon they were, they were all coming in. So people come right before an athletic event. Um, older people will come right before they have, like, their intramural, you know, they do basketball or intramural, like, I got to get, I got to keep my body going. So they just try to keep it loose. Then we have the chronic pain, arthritis, fibromyalgia, you know, people that'll come in. We'll get people that will come in that won't even, don't, they won't go in the big tube, but they'll do the spot treatment. How does that work? It's the same thing. It's the it's nitrogen, but it's with a wand. So like someone will come in with tendonitis and we'll do the nitrogen just on that area and then the blood will start to flow. We, we had a guy a couple of years ago, uh, he had terrible tendonitis. It was a busy time for he was work, a car salesman and he said it was almost like when he had to go and reach and to shake his hand he was like I, I don't want to do this he would come in twice a week like Tuesday Thursday and it was getting him through the weeks because that blood just flows. movement yeah I, you know it is a bizarre concept I have had so many people even like neighbors that I, I just have put it off and put it off and finally they're like you know what I'm gonna just try to do it on my knee fibromyalgia was one uh, a woman that had it on her knee after she came three days one week two days the next she said I- I'm so mad that I did not do this sooner she- mm. I haven't seen her for for months she'll just come in and get a zap a tuned up yeah. every like now and it, then. a tune up uh, my husband for he has bone on bone knee doesn't his whole side of his family when we first opened this he thought he was going to have to go in and have surgery mm-hmm. he he goes once a week in the whole thing and then he was I, it, he just what does it cost $25 for new client. Okay. Um, we have packages that keep it at $25. 
if you come in with a group of three people, you can do the cryo for $20. Mm -hmm. It's We kind of pass it, you the in out, we don't sure. have to stop the machine, start it. Localized cryotherapy, new clients, 20. Uh, you can have a package that'll make it $15. Otherwise, it's $25 a session. We take flexible spending and HSA cards. Oh, wow. Um, because it's health and wellness. Sure. Uh, you know, so it is it's it is really reasonable in, in a way if you're trying to do things that are more, oh, I want to say holistic. Natural, yeah. yep, and holistic. You know, natural and, that's and holistic. my zone, right? Yeah. That, that, that's our so, zone. So I'm trying to get my, understand <laughs> I know, a, good, I know. a good application for it. So I have... Uh, our granddaughter is in gymnastics, and she's had many injuries. We have gymnastics. Knee, yeah, knee injuries. We have a grandson in hockey right whatever. here with us today. And then, yep. And then our uh, our knee. grandson, or then a friend of mine has a has a his son plays basketball, and he's got this ankle injury that just won't, won't go away. Heal. Yes. And they look at it, and they and they MRI it, and everything looks good. He gets out on the court, and in about twenty minutes, is, he's got pain, and he can't play anymore. Huh. Um, so I, I so explain the difference then, if if you're gonna the local thing. Yes. Why wouldn't you just do the, do whole, the whole body? Thing? Do the whole body. Well, some understand. people do both. Okay. Because it, when you do the the whole body's three minutes and it's it's everything. Yeah. When you local, it's just like almost getting that spot. Is it a little more bit. intense? It's longer. Okay. It's longer, and you're kind of more direct. It's yeah, it's more direct to that spot because when you go in the the tube. We give you socks. We give you gloves. You we put these little rubber shoes on. We okay. have robes, but it's the blood is going to move everywhere. But if you have an ankle, you almost feel like you want to hit it even harder uh -huh. with the with that the zapper, the wand, what you know, whatever yeah, right, you want right, to call it. Right. We had a girl that came from, uh, well, she parents lived down here, UMD. I'm just giving examples. Okay. She twisted her ankle. They said it's going to be at least two weeks till you're back on the soccer field. She drove home on a Wednesday. Um, she localized it like at 4 o'clock. We, we met her after hours. I met her again at 6.30 a.m., just again after hours, and then again at 10. So she was hitting it hard. She'd local for four times. Um, her mom called. She goes, oh, thank you. She got back a week early. Mm. It's just about, again, moving that blood, which helps you to heal. We get a lot of, sp like, ankles, you know, hockey, basketball, gymnastics, you name it. They come in because they want to get back sooner mm -hmm. than later. I'm just worried about my metabolism. <laughs> so, <laughs> concussions. What about concussions? Does it? Well, you know, that's, that's I mean. Because that's the head, and you're not going, your head isn't in it. But no. do they do the local thing on that? I mean, you, I mean, you could help with, well, again, pain and inflammation. People come in for migraines. Mm. Um, I actually do. I I get migraines, and sometime I'll instead of taking like an Excedrin, if I know I'm gonna work Ooh. that day, <laughs> I'll just I'll come down and I'll go. I'm just gonna wait, and then I will localize because it constricts the the vessels here. I'll like localize my head, mm -hmm. you know, and it just it it most of the time it relieves it. No yeah. kidding. Yeah. So how well does it like we had Stretch Lab on the show uh, um, a while ago, and so. I'm just thinking about all these different modalities yeah, and right. things yep. that you can do. How do they work in conjunction with one another? And, and We get a lot of people that do a lot of different things. Uh -huh. You know, it's it's more so the, I don't want to say middle-aged, but it's like people that, they're, they're like they say, let's take a village for me to continue to play basketball or to do this or do that. So we'll have people that will, we have we have Nor Normatec compression boots in there too, just one pair. We're just because we're, we're a small office, but say the marathon runners will come in. They own those at home, so they'll put those on to like mobilize the fluid, get the lactate acid out. But they'll come and cryo with us, and then they go home and do that. And then other people will do float tanks along with what we're doing. Or what's a float tank? I I I I think isn't it's it like, like a cold water like an ice thing? bath? It's you're in like a. It's, it's almost like, like a water bed, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, like a you water lay bed. on dark. a cold water bed. Oh, okay. I mean, it's just all these different things to just keep the body healthy. So you know, I mean, we have people that'll come and cryo before they go to maybe stretch lab or workout because you're a little bit more loose, and so you get a better workout. Uh, some people will come before they go to a chiropractor or a massage person because. Again, it's getting you loose before that so they don't have to work as hard. Other, But then people will come the opposite. They'll get worked on. They'll, you know. It's counterintuitive to me because I'm thinking cold. I get I, stiff. I know. And, and, no. You know, it would be like I would want to go in a sauna first. I, I know. It's it's very February 
every February is our busiest <laughs> month and it's the coldest month because people will come in and go, I am so stiff, I need to do cryo. Oh. So you're going, getting, going from that cold to the cold. To the other cold. To the other cold because, again, it's it's stimulating your blood. Your, your blood. Your it's, blood it's, all, it's all about the blood flow. I mean, I'm not all about because the cold helps with pain and inflammation, but it's getting that blood moving. Mm-hmm. I, it's, I, it, again, it's. It how many bizarre. of there, how many of these places are there around the Twin Cities? A lot? Is it, is it really a popular thing? Well, you know, there's, there's, again, there's both the nitrogen ones mm-hmm. and then, then there's the electric ones. Okay. I, I think there might be like, well, to my knowledge, four ele- uh, nitrogen ones. And then I think the electric ones are popping up more too. Electric ones are just like a refrigerator or something, or what? Who knows? I we've never, I've never, never seen it. one. This is our healthy homes. <laughs> yeah. Put you in the deep freeze. Our healthy yeah, homes. Really. Dot com. We got to go out to break. We're in the studio with Chris Gourley, and we're talking about nitro cryotherapy is what it is. And and uh, before we get to that, I got a couple questions here. I want to know about. Uh, uh, some the packages that are available for people who are interested in pricing, how they can get a hold of you. Pets and animals, I'm curious about that. But Sheila's got a little bit something she wants to throw out there first, and then we'll be right back on topic. So our, our body has seasons that those organs need to be cleansed. Mm-hmm. So we are talking in the sp- spring, mm-hmm. <laughs> right. or are we spring yet? But well, anyway, technically, right? April, May, and June is spring. So there is a wheel of the spring, summer, fall, winter, and which organs you detox during the season. What's the reason for that? Uh, that is how the body functions and how, you know, past my pay grade right. of which organs need to be detoxed in which time of the year. All right. Okay. So I have a uh, pamphlet on the wheel and what you do for each organ. So if you're interested in seeing that, I can email it to you. And so you can text me, 651-775-9194, or go to the website, ourhealthyhomes.com, click on the contact me, and I'll get you your seasons uh, detox chart. But spring, so April, May, June. So what organ do you think is the one that we clean in spring? Liver. <laughs> what did you know that? So it is <laughs> It's your favorite organ. <laughs> it is my favorite organ. It is. So liver and gallbladder. Okay, so that is when we're we're working on that. And the uh the idea around it is that you focus on that particular organ, so liver and gallbladder. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you want to do that with certain products, so it's a certain time frame, and then that's when your body best detoxes that organ when you're working at it in that calendar of, of time. So we all, it's my favorite, right? It's my favorite organ. The moment you unburden the liver, mm-hmm you increase the immune function. And okay. so that was um, a little quote from, from Gary Young. And so we like to not only detox those organs physically, but we also like to detox those organs emotionally. And so I would love to have a conversation with you and talk to you about that cleanse this time of year, which is April, May, and June. And June is my birthday. June is my favorite month of the year. And maybe that's why it's the liver. I just love the liver. <laughs> love your liver. Love your liver. Yes, okay, so exactly. I, that made me think of something here, nutrition in general. So, you know, so much of when we're talking about nutrition, it's getting the, it's getting the good stuff into the blood. I mean, that's really what yeah. it is. I mean, it's, you got to get it in the blood and we're, and in order to do that, the blood's got to get circulating and, uh, so with with cryotherapy, the whole point is to get that circulation going. Yes. Now, I have a question. All right. I, I would have to believe that it's more beneficial for people that have a circulation problem. Like, well, it's helped. Like I, like I was saying, I was used to get all these colds, flus. Yep. People do it just for immunity. You're not, e- they're not even sick. There's nothing wrong with them. They just want to stay healthy well I was 
I mean, ever since I can remember, I was always cold. It was, you know, the cold feet, the cold hands, you know, the circulation right. thing. I was always told it's your circulation. Yes. Um, and so I would, I would think then if it, if. A so person the cure like is me, to get cold. Well, you, right, exactly, which is the <laughs> worst thing to even think about because I know, I know what you, you're saying. You live like you're cold all the time, right. you but know? it does. It will help with circulation because it it moves. I we did localized treatment, you know, on a person that had arthritis. She said she's had it for a while, mm -hmm. and her hands were getting very sedentary because they were getting more like more and more stiff. By sure, right. same thing. She came week, two weeks. And then her husband came a month later for something and said, you haven't seen her because when her hands started to kind of get a little bit less. Uh, more limber. She more could limp, move them more. more. Then she was using them. Mm -hmm. She actually ended up calling and she said, I haven't wrapped presents or baked cookies with my grandkids for three years. Wow. And she was crying when she called. I thought, mm -hmm. oh, my gosh, she's crying. What right, did we yeah. do? Yeah, what right, did we do? Right, yeah. right. We, um, we automatically think the worst, right? Right, right, yeah. right exactly. <laughs> and so it was just getting that blood flow going. And then she said, you know, they're not pain-free, but they're not painful. Oh, nice. You know, and then she, and she said. And that's that. a huge difference for somebody that's, you know, had that restriction. Yes. For, for three years. Uh, I gotta believe gift certificates. I'm thinking we Chris do. <laughs> no, we we do have we do have gift certificates that people can buy. People call up all the time. They go, I want to buy this for my my father, and then we do it over the phone. I, we put it in his name. You know, we'll put it in her their email so he doesn't get a bing. Yeah. And then I said, you're he's in the system. He just has to show up, and it's all paid for, and you know he can do it. You know, and I like to tell people everybody is different. So mm -hmm. when someone comes in, how many sessions do I need before I feel this and feel that? You know, every we get people that'll buy a three pack because their groin bothers them, mm -hmm. and I'll get a call and the next day and say, you know what, it feels better. I'm going to save it for you know for down the That's road. It's just that quick. It it it, it depends. It, sometimes I always say it's like something stiff or locked, or you think it's worse than it is, mm -hmm. but the the coldness with the be between relieving it, pain, inflammation, it it goes quicker than you know they they thought, or they think it's worse than it is. Because a lot of times when you initially injure yourself, you're like, oh, my gosh, is this going to be a two-week thing? Right. And it, it doesn't. And other people ha do take longer. Backs are the hardest. We tell people, a lot of people will buy, there's a package that you you can do the whole body and the local. Um, they'll go in there, and then they'll hit their back because the muscle is so deep and so entwined that a lot of times people like to do to, to do both when they have a back. Um Injury. Nitrogcryo.com. Do you, do you have on the website like packages yes. and all that stuff that they can they can do too? So if I'm just a guy and I'm thinking, ah, oh, <laughs> you know, we do everything that every time someone's on the show we <laughs> do it. You know, it's just to check it out. So it's like, okay, I I have no particular aches and pains, you right. know, but but everybody's got aches and pains. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So you got some that you notice sometimes like, oh, back's a little stiff, and then you forget about it because you get busy and, right. and all that kind of stuff. So you're just going to go in. What, do you have like a, a uh, cryotherapy consultant there that, that's you that just kind of says us. have uh, – Everybody. Like some... How many work there? <sighs> Sorry, it's, honey. It's all – all four of us in the family are trained in, but okay. for the most part, it's Jake and myself. Okay. I will take, like, lady clients. Well, not all lady clients, but it's people who prefer a female. Sure. Got More it. people call in and say, is there a female? If you have, like, a sciatic nerve and it's a female, you know, he's not a doctor. Yeah. So it's, you know, it it's, uh, can be uncomfortable. Uh. Uh, so that's kind of how I started doing it for a while. Right. Is My daughter went to college, and they were doing it all summer, and then, all of a sudden, you know, they needed another female. Sure. And I was trained in, and I'm like, that's fine. you know. But uh, but we, we do talk to see why you're coming in. There are some people that just come in because they love it. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they come in once a week. They just feel like it keeps them healthy. Uh, so we talk to say, what is, what's the issue? What are you coming in for? You know, bad knees, bad elbows. So is this a franchise? No. Mm -hmm. It isn't. So, so you just like decided to do this, went and bought a machine, and uh, there you go. Right, because the, my, my kids really felt like it was helping them. Mm-hmm. And, and they loved it, and, and they did it, you know, more than, you know, maybe the average person would do it. And so then when the guys at the, the gym were saying, do you want to you open? You talk about it all the time. You're doing it all the time. And that's how, you know, so. All right. So, the, <laughs> so then I come in, I, I buy a package. I'm trying to work it into my life. 
Yes. And so what are the hours that you're open and that, that you're available to come into? You know, how convenient is it? We're, we're open 10 to 6 Monday through Thursday, 10 to 4 on Friday, and 9 to noon on Saturday. We're not open on Sunday. But the one thing we kind of pride ourselves on, like I said about the girl with the yeah. soccer, if someone is having oh, a- sure. if someone's having ACL surgery on a Monday and they want to get all that inflammation down, you know, if if we'll come in on a Sunday if we're available. All right. We've had How about early morning. I'm, if I'm you know on my way to work or something like that. Like you go, some people go to the gym, you know, early in the morning and then they're off to work. What's the time from? From the time I walk through the front door until I walk out the front door, fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes yeah. in and out. It just we and you can actually get. We do people that have. Um, they do the whole body and the local because uh-huh. the whole body is up to three minutes. The local is six to seven minutes. It just depends on how long it takes you to. Well, you have to undress for the whole body. Yeah. But yeah, you can get in and out in fifteen minutes. You know, we've we've ha- we have groups of six people that can get because once the machines cool down, they're just in out in out and mm-hmm. then out the door they go. And the machine. Uh, so there's. Is there a recovery time between? You got to wait for it to cool down again, or is that baby cold? Depending on, like this past Saturday, we didn't have a slot open. It was like one of the, for a long time, like we went from nine to noon. By the time the last, per, I mean, you just, the machine goes like that. Sometimes I'll wait a minute to let them get undressed because I don't want it to beep before they have to go in. But then those people, if they, they're almost, the machine doesn't run that often because uh-huh. it's cold already. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it gets even. Yeah. Colder. All right. Oh. Hey, welcome back to the program. This is Art Healthy Homes. No peaky, says no Sheila. No peaking. peaky. As she gets squeaky, we're talking about what time of the year you fix your organs up. All right. Okay. Now we, we did, last segment we did spring. Mm-hmm. So now summer is July, August, and September. Okay. Kidding. Okay. Uh, where's my buzzer? Okay. That was wrong. Okay. That is adrenals. Mm. Thank you. Adrenals and your heart. Adrenals and heart. And I got to yes. believe that cryotherapy just, just wait, would be beautiful saying. for yes, adrenals. It would. it would. And, you know, I believe in affirmations and we use our oils. Again, these, these organs um, are emotional and physical. And so you can take um, nutmeg. And you can apply it on your adrenal glands and you state the affirmation, I am strong, I am whole. And so, you know, at first years ago, I thought it was the goofiest thing. I just didn't believe (laughs) that whole concept. But it really, it really, truly, truly does um, matter. So another quote you might, I will guess to see if you know whose quote this is. All right, cool. Okay. Life and business is like changing seasons. You cannot change the seasons, but you can change yourself. Therein lies the opportunity to live an extra extraordinary life, the opportunity to change yourself. No clue. Could Jim be. Rohn. All right, Jim Rohn. Mm-hmm. <coughs> All right, back to uh, cryotherapy. Which helps the adrenals in the heart. Which helps the adrenals in the heart. <laughs> <laughs> it does help everything. Super duper for that. <clears throat> Pets and animals. You ever have uh, anyone come in with an aging dog or anything that would be a good idea for them to get in? And You know, they, you do, they do do cryotherapy with, with dogs. I've seen actually some, like not around here, but they actually have a box that they put dogs in and kind of shoot the nitrogen. Plug in. it in, yeah. I have done one. My, my girlfriend, her, the joints were so bad. So she brought him in and I, you know, she brought him in a few times on local, you know, localized to see. So he, he so the dog did the local, not, no, he, she not, didn't, she no, didn't like hold no, no, the no, dog no. and go in the ice chamber. No, we, <laughs> okay. we I, I like was massaging and, and putting the local on because, you know, it was a little hard because you, the localized treatment takes the, your temperature. So I know how cold you're doing it. Well, with the fur, yeah, you hard. really can't tell. So oh. I just made sure like I was you know, doing it both sides. And she called and she said, because he was very sedentary, she said he was so perky for, I mean, I, I think it just, you know, it was so funny. So yeah. she said he was like more, more, more alert, more when, you know, he was doing it. I don't know if he, because she felt better now because he didn't do whole body. Sure. So she wouldn't, he wouldn't come out energized because it helps with norepinephrine when you go in the whole body because it releases norepinephrine. Well, the dog wouldn't get that because you're just doing the spot. But I think she said probably helped with his pain a little bit. And so he was more perky. Mm-hmm. So, But we've also had um, uh, some people that were sent to do cryotherapy from like psychologists. Really? And really? Do- for like depression. Again, no, this is, I'm not doctor related, yeah, right. but it's just the, 
relief, releasing the endorphins and the norepinephrine. Um, so she said, I just to, so a couple of them have come in. One, one was college. She went away to college and all, but, uh, you know, there's, just, it's. How it, many treatments did that, did they she, do? She was just, she was just trying to come in twice a week. Okay. And, and cause when you come out, like, again, it's, if, if it's just the being energized from the cold, but it, it does release some of that norepinephrine and, you know. It, it, again, naturally. Naturally. Right? Naturally. So we're not. And it's the same, like when people do an ice bath, they say it releases the norepinephrine, but you you have to be in it for longer, you know, yeah. longer. Yeah, right. Long. That's pain. Yeah, it's painful. So when you're, <laughs> so you think maybe I'm going to put one of these in your basement? Do you ever think about that? Because you know. got one there. It's like, man, I could have one of these. I, I know. know. I know. I know. Athletes like the, you know, superstar athletes. Yeah. Like, the, a lot of them have them in their homes and things like that. I think the Timberwolves have one in the, in their facility, but uh-huh. uh, I, I know that's what we always say if, if we close this down let's let's put it at home yeah. i don't know if we will or not but so you've been doing this how many years four years what puts what do you what sets you apart from other companies that are kind of doing the same thing you know we're i i use the word mom and pop but we're we're a small office in this baseball gym facility and so we're more personalized mm-hmm. i i think and we, i get that comment a lot and we make it like again if someone really chris is there any way i could meet you at eight o'clock tomorrow because you know if I, i'm like, yes yes we will do that we'll come after hours we've had a soccer team from uh i think it was milwaukee they were in town and the coach called the number and said is there any way our girls could do this at eight o'clock at night well it was the whole team yes we'll do that oh one that's wow something? the whole team come in the whole team yeah he said we they do it every time they travel really they, he said we always have oh, our wow. soccer teams do it Be- again just trying Help to keep some sleep and he said they do it they did it three times because they did it before they started on friday they wanted it after saturday and then after sunday they just try to eliminate um you know injuries but we try to sit and talk with you. Well, we don't say try, we do. You know, what, what you're trying to do, what mm-hmm. you're, you know, how you're doing it. Sometimes we'll have athletes that'll come in, like, it, let's say it's $25 and then you have to buy a package. If it's track season and mm-hmm. there's some kids that are coming in that I, I race today and tomorrow, that's fine. You can just do it for the, it, we, you know, we, we try to work with people yeah. to make it, you know, we're not going to have somebody buy a package that's coming in one time, you know, for something else. We're, we're just... Very. What's the longest that anyone has ever gone, like in terms of months or, or weeks? Or you, you got anyone that's just been, you've been open four years, they've come in once a week for four years? Uh, we, yes, we've got some clients that could, that come in, like again, now for about six months, we have a guy that if he's in town, he's here six days a week. He buys a He month comes in six days a week? Yes, he does. Yep. How he, old is he? He, I think, he, I, I, you know, I don't know. He might be in his fifties. Um, okay. He works. I'm very he, curious about that. He works out. He works out all the time. And he said, I used to be where, like, when I had like, you know, like leg day. He yeah. said it was oh, just yeah. dragging. Right. We have like women that come in. I would say women, but they come in like once a week after they do their cycle. Uh-huh. Or what is a uh, soul cycle or the because their legs are so heavy and they go. I, I just I'm not gonna be able to do do it tomorrow. Or so it again. I think. For us personally, we really just try to work with people to know what they're what they want and what they're going to do, and we're more and we're pretty flexible. You buy a package for this, and then you want to do that. We'll we'll say that's fine. We can we just we try to work with everybody. I guess that's the I'm babbling now, but well, it's okay. You mentioned your husband. Does he get he in it? Knows how, does yeah. he do it? Yeah, we all we all do it. You all do it. Yeah. Is what does he report as a result? I'm just, well, I he's the one that had the bone on bone knee, okay. and his knee has not bothered him. He just, but we do it often enough too. Uh-huh. Right. They see there is that too. You know, yeah. but he also, he'd localized his knee for like three, four times and then it felt better and then he didn't have to do it. Um, occasionally if he really, if we're going to go on a trip, you know, he'll try to come in and hit it right before just to make sure the inflammation. We have people that will come in right before they fly and right after they fly. And that's the only time I see them. Because in like an airplane, yes, plane? one for the circulation sitting, okay, and two, I want it. <laughs> and two, you can get you know, <laughs> you're in an enclosed place, a lot of people get sick after they fly in an yes. airplane, yes, so yes, they want so like, many people, fl- they want to like flush everything out before and after mm-hmm. to try to stay more healthy for that, for that reason. So, you mentioned you've been you haven't been sick in, in years, it's so, bizarre, no COVID, never, no, interesting. I mean, I've when we've we're vaccinated because we have, you know, we run in a business in there, but uh, no, it's, it's, again, I can only speak for me, but I, if you talk to my in-laws, 
they're like, you have not been, I go, I know. I said, I think it's, it's gotta be the cryo. Cause I, and nothing, I'm doing nothing else different. Yeah. I mean, I used to be the same way. I used to get the flu every year. I down, I down for, you know, seven days, you know, drop 10 pounds. Wasn't the worst thing in the world, you know, but it took me so long to, to recover. And, you know, once I cleaned my organs, yeah. got things moving, used my, you know, essential oils and my immune support and, I mean, it, it matters. The body will heal, and, and yeah. it needs those things. And and that immune support, whatever the modality is for the for the immune support, you have got to start supporting your immune system and giving it mm-hmm. extra because we are bombarded all day long mm-hmm. by EMFs from our technology yes. and the chemtrails from all the chemicals and all the fragrances that you're exposed to and all the processed yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. it, the list just goes on and on and on and on. So yeah. um, it, it makes sense to me that you need to fight for your body and fight to support that. And sometimes, you know, it's you got to do targeted things. Right. If you're right? if you're talking about like sports injuries, I'm thinking about post-surgery recovery. Type. Yes. Mm. Oh, we get people that like a shoulder. You know, you don't want to build up that scar tissue, but you have to keep your hand sedentary. Mm. Well, you hit it with a local, your blood's moving. It helps prevent scar tissue. We had another woman that had stomach surgery. She was going in the whole body to prevent scar tissue from building. So it, it, it's just such a variety of things that cryotherapy helps with, from getting rid of toxins, you know, circulation, getting you back to something if you're in, if you're injured. It, it's... I always say, I keep saying it's a weird concept, but man, we've got so much success with people coming in. To it local on the face to get rid of the wrinkles. You do, we, do, we do have people that come in for fish. <laughs> we, <laughs> well. Here, he hit my button. He <laughs> hit my button. Because, it, it, you know, people are, they never think I'm my age, but I do a lot, right? right? right. I do I do a lot for this face. And, and um it's natural, right? Like I want to do everything natural. Right. And I tell everybody this is no surgeries because yes. it's people. It's really hard for people to believe, to believe it, but it, it is. So I, so he knows my button, <laughs> and he knows that that's all you had to say. Yeah. <laughs> that, and now I'm flying in a yeah, couple she's weeks. Flying, in, so uh, you know, I'm in. That, she's I'm got in. a fifty pack on on order. I and think. I mean, I got to get over the frozen thing. Like yeah, I just have to get over. That's it. the hardest thing. And the other thing is sometimes people want an instant instant re- result so it's like yeah. if you're if you're really sore and you're really stiff and you really have arthritis you can't do it in one session well, you can't it's with no. anything right it's with with anything it does take it does take time yeah. for some things for some things right it for some things yeah but mm-hmm. you i mean i you i always tell people you should give it a try because i was a skeptic i i, I thought my husband was spending money on my kids because they didn't want to do an ice bath yeah and it was so much more than that that's uh, awesome. NitroGCryo.com. NitroGCryo.com. 612-499-4934. Call or text. Schedule it up. Sheila's on the phone right now dialing it in. <laughs> we'll see you I next gotta week. get myself scheduled. Oh, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> but when he calls me sugar, I love that man with all my Tell him, honey.